गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज इट्स एट इन द मॉर्निंग एंड वी आर हेयर एट मोरजिम बीच सो इफ़ यू सी दिस राइट हेयर इज द एंट्रेंस एंड सिंस वी हैव कम हेयर प्रिटी अर्ली एवरी वन हेयर फ्रॉम द शैक्स यू नो दे आर सेटिंग अप द टेबल्स लुक एट दिस देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ सन बेड्स हेयर एंड दे यू कैन सी द सन हैज जस्ट रिजन एंड लुक एट दिस गाइज देर वॉज अ हाई टाइड हेयर प्रॉबली so the water has come all the way the beach is there and look at this guys so adrian morjim is indeed one of our favorite beaches right yeah definitely yeah and the reason for that is if you see there in the distance uh, there used to be turtle nest there and they were preserved by the uh, government of goa but right now it is the peak season guys so we are not sure if it will still be there we will just go there and uh, have a look Until then, I will just show you. So look at this, guys. The water has come all the way here, and that there is the beach. And the reason why we love Morjim so much is because if you see here, if you see there in the distance, uh, the hill, we actually want to go closer to that hill because there is the Siolim River which meets uh, uh, the Morjim uh, beach here. Okay. and if you have a look here look at the backdrop of this place guys so usually you get to see coconut trees on the coastline but these are some different kinds of trees that you see here 10 minutes into our walk guys and look at this how long the coast is and if you see there the hill in the distance we are getting closer to that so hopefully in another 15 minutes i'm guessing we should get uh, closer to the hill and as we walk by on the beach we can see people some a group of people over there they are doing yoga and look at this guys there in the distance i saw burger factory many other shacks there and the waves today are a bit strong it looks like high tide look at this the waves have already come up until here and uh, i was talking about the uh, turtle nest so i don't see those nest here anymore i don't think it is the nesting season and uh, if you have a look on the beach there are people here mostly locals many foreigners this is also called the russian beach of goa guys so there are a lot of international tourists here and look at this these are the guys performing yoga there i'm not sure if you can see them in the distance it's because of the sunrise here it bit looks a bit dark and look at this so we have some more shacks ahead so if in case you are a fitness enthusiast and if you don't mind walking so much just like adrian and myself do <laughs> adrian was complaining a bit but she's okay now i am up for it guys i love to walk and a coast like this is so gorgeous to explore Look at this guys there are two people out in the ocean and this looks like a good beach to swim as well even though the tide is high today the beach here is not uh, as steep as uh, Anjuna if you remember watching my videos from Anjuna the beach is very steep even Kandolim was very steep but this looks like a very flat uh, of this kind of a beach so looks like a very good beach for swimming and here we have some more uh, shacks some more umbrellas that are placed look at this gorgeous looking jet ski guys so since there is a jet ski here i am assuming there are water sports activities as well now we've come uh, towards the shacks because of the sunrise you know i was in getting the right angle to show you guys so look at this there are so many uh beach beds brawlies umbrellas whatever you'd like to call it and then there are more shacks here as well guys after 20 minutes of walking we finally made it towards the end of the beach so this is the north end uh, i'll get you closer there is a river there which is the siolim river and look where we have reached the, we have made it to what looks like the turtle nesting site okay so guys uh this uh, area right here is uh, protected because there are probably turtle nests in there somewhere we can't see them clearly 
uh, we don't know where they are but you know the turtles they usually come here late in the night they dig a big pit somewhere in there and then they lay their eggs and they go out in the ocean and uh, you know when the little turtles hatch they have to walk all the way from here till the ocean and in that what happens is you know if there are any birds flying on top some of them lose their lives some of them you know lose their lives here on on the sand but hopefully many of them will make it out to, uh, to the ocean and uh, you know they have a long journey ahead of them i wish we could see something like that but uh, i guess to see something like that we have to come here probably late in the night to watch some turtles i'm not sure if this is the nesting season but guys check this out just look at how long the coastline is and as i mentioned earlier look at this view guys no coconut trees some different kind of trees and the sun has risen quite a bit so even for sunsets this way in the evening will be so beautiful guys look at how many sandpiper birds are here wow i'm not sure if you can see them yeah see 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 they they've gone flying so many were there in the distance and there are some eagles flying there there are people out there with their dogs look at the coastline here guys how much we've covered another 2 minutes to go and we will make it to the end wow guys look at the sight of this eagle he is huge and the crow is chasing the eagle wow that bird is so huge and look at the sandpipers here guys this is what you get to see early in the morning uh, i hope he comes back no he is gone there out in the trees uh, yes he is gone guys but that was a huge eagle i guess the biggest one i have ever seen okay here he is here he is again look he is getting chased by the crows so that is the problem you know what happens is when an eagle comes uh, closer to the uh, to the surface you know to to the ground level crows come and attack them in groups and the benefit what eagles have is they go quite high in the sky and then you know the crows because of the elevation cannot chase them uh, so high so that's how they end up escaping adrian here is enjoying a walk look at the view guys look at the coastline and look at all those birds flying again one more minute for us to reach the north end of the beach we have made it to the end guys and check this out 360 degree view of the place and look at this this is the siolim river which meets the morjim coastline here and look at this what a beautiful sight i can see so many seagulls flying back towards the river so guys there is a story that is associated with this place i am not sure if you know about it but there was a crocodile that was spotted on this beach yes that's right a huge crocodile walking all by itself it was some time during the monsoons and uh, i am definitely sure that it's come out of the siolim river look at how huge this river is it's a fresh water a river obviously and you know fresh water uh, sweet water meets the ocean here so that's where it came out of and it was walking somewhere that side so it was all over the news and uh, again guys just look at the view people are out here they are doing their photo shoots and uh, there are some people there who are having a relaxed time they are just uh, enjoying the sun sun bathing there and there was some wedding photography that was going on there and look at the sky guys blue skies in the month of december just the perfect atmosphere the perfect ambience that you can ask for in the morning so guys we are done with our walk adrian seems tired so am i we are going to walk back now we have a uh, 25 minute walk we started at 8 we reached here at around 8:35 that's because we took some stops we are going to go back there get our bike and we are going to ride along this coast this way and show you guys what's there outside morjim beach look at this guy right here he is actually alive i thought he was dead but if you look at him he is moving guys 
we have a crab that is alive i think he is injured probably not sure but yes such a lovely sight to see him well guys we have made it to the entrance of the beach and adrian is going to take over from here so she is getting our beloved kabo ready for the virtual tour of the road so we are going to go outside on that side of the road we'll uh, take a right or left let's see what's there ahead right guys so we have got out of the beach and uh, where do we go from here okay let's go straight adrian okay so as you can see a uh, lot of taxis that are parked here so right behind us uh, there was a taxi stand so in case you want to go anywhere you can get a taxi stand and look at this place guys and there are some clothes and lot of things sunglasses and everything sold here okay and what is this there is a vegetable shop here there is something called morjim deck looks like a nice restaurant here okay so we will keep going straight from here as you can see guys this is not a very commercialized place like uh, bhaga kalangutta kandalim it's a more peaceful place and it's called the oh adrian be careful on the hums so yes it's called the russian beach because there are a lot of russians who prefer staying here and guys a pro tip for you in case if you are visiting here ride slowly because the roads aren't that great and there are a lot of humps and puddles on the way so guys don't speed look at this view of the field here beautiful you guys cannot probably see it that clearly because of the angle of the sun but yeah we have a field view here right guys we have made it to the main road here and look at this the weather is so good and i wish i had a bike like that go check that out guys look at the beautiful view that you have here so there are a lot of restaurants here just a 2 minute drive outside and we got out of the main road and what do we have here we have a little bar here with a nice place nice view cafe osa again fields guys so what i love about morjim is it's not at all crowded you can enjoy your drive here and look at this cityan she is focusing on the road and she is driving us special thanks to my wife adrian i wake her up at 5:30 in the morning and she is up for our vlogs only to show you guys beautiful places here in goa so if you want to appreciate our hard work leave a thumbs up subscribe to our channel it will really mean a lot to us guys so those of our veg viewers in case if you want some veg food there is navratna here and then there are lot of uh, other shops here for your basic necessities what do we have here a supermarket here in case you are planning to stay here for long term if you are watching from uh, outside india and if you are planning to come here on a long tour yes guys you can come visit the supermarket and yes another tip something just went in my eye a little insect so if you are here wear sunglasses and that reminds me that i do have sunglasses guys so let me quickly get my green <laughs> bumblebee sunglasses they look so cool and they are so good and yes now my eyes are protected and look at this guys just getting to morjim from bhaga it took around 35 minutes drive and uh, we have been enjoying the ride so far so this guy is clearly in a hurry so we let him go again some more shops here guys so this pretty much sums up our video we'll be going to a place called what is that indian cafe Kontiga okay this is cafe Kontiga in Anjuna we are waiting for uh, Madhir and Mama they'll be here soon so we are heading towards Anjuna and in case if i can vlog there i will definitely show you guys what it is it's a lovely place for breakfast and look at this we passed by this beautiful looking church look at that in the distance so lots of uh, churches on the way and we saw many people preparing 
the crib the crib is something which you know is a reminder of uh, christmas left and uh, yes there are little statues placed of baby jesus the three kings that visited little animals because jesus was born in a stable so yes guys beautiful time of the year especially for uh, christians all over and being a christian i love goa uh, because of the christmas season guys no matter what religion you are you should come here in december and enjoy the christmas vibe so guys with that we're going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed the virtual tour of lovely morjim and i promise you to get some more virtual tours i am here till the end of this year so until next time guys take care stay safe and stay positive